Joey. So originally I was going to do a review on all the episodes that aired this week, but there was one episode in particular that I could not stop thinking about. Um, and that would be Lava Lake Beach. So if you guys have not seen it, I'm gonna tell you right now, spoilers galore, cause I don't really know where to start cause my heart is breaking. So let's get started. The moment Marco and Jackie broke up, I knew it was going to be like an opposites thing because we already saw Tom and Star get back together. So I thought, oh, okay, this season is going to focus on Marco realizing he's in love with Star, but he kind of has to suck it up, just like she sucked it up when he and Jackie were together. But Darren doesn't like us that much, and she's trying to destroy our ships. I'm sorry. I'm still a little fresh in my heart with it. So as the episode goes on, um, we notice all the lovey dubbiness between Tom and Star, which I'm not a Tom Star shipper. I'm not. I don't like it. I don't like it. Kelly's in the dumps. She just broke up with her boyfriend. It's kind of just like, eh, this kind of sucks so well. And Marco goes to talk to her, the ex and kind of realizes that he has feelings for Star, which I was like, yes, we need this. Super happy, love that whole little scene where he sees all the happy couples, and it kind of was very reminiscent of when Star was at the concert with Jackie and Marco, and how she sees all the couples kind of making out, and she sees uh, Jackie and Marco kiss right next to her, and he's holding her hand, by the way, that's, that's a different rant for a different day. And Marco ends up seeing Tom and Star kiss, which I was like, yes, bring back some bitch, Marco! But something happened between Kelly and Marco, and it's kind of, planting the seeds of a new ship, and I don't like it one bit. Yes, it was kind of cute, but I was like... <sighs> Stop blowing holes in my ship! I'm just ready for Star and Marco to be together. I'm kind of over the back and forth, but Darren's not gonna let me have them that easy. Starco is gonna be Endgame, I get that. And if it's not Endgame... Well... Shit. So Kelly and Marco are together watching the scenery, sharing Marco's sweater, which already has a big significance between Star and Marco, so the fact that he's just sharing his sweater like it's nothing... <sighs> and he ends up going, oh, it's is it past midnight? And she's like, yeah, and he goes, it's my birthday. And she's like, happy birthday, and I'm like, you bitch. So that's why I made this really short review of that one episode when I was going to make a whole review of all the episodes. I couldn't stop thinking about it all day yesterday. I just kept going, I don't like this one bit. I really didn't like it. I really felt betrayed. <laughs> like my Starco heart cannot handle this right now. We already have Everybody shipping everybody. We don't need to add to Marco's harem, okay? Like, come on now. Jeez and crackers. I guess that means it'll be worth it in the end when Star and Marco finally do get together, but they're just gonna keep teasing us with that, with little tidbits of hugs and I miss Marco and sweater sniffing, which... At least Marco got the clean sweater. Star just sniffed the nastiness of whatever was on Marco that day, so there's that. So guys, I'm sorry this review was really short and just me ranting and raging, but I had to get it off my chest. I couldn't go another day without talking about this. Um, I will probably still do a full review of all the episodes after Friday once they've all aired. Um, but yeah, it can't get any worse than this right now. So until next time, keep smiling guys, or crawl in a corner like me and regret your shipping choices. Mm. Bye. <laughs>